as we dive into stories that shape us when we think about our identities, I feel like it's like a map unfolding where we have been and also gives us a few hints of where we might go. And given the stories that we heard so far, I feel like that future is bright. Our identity is not about just self-reflection, it's about connection. It allows us to see ourselves in others and understand that our unique histories often intertwine in beautiful ways. So speaking of history, mine reaches back to a ship you may have heard of, the Mayflower. On my mother's side, I'm tied to the very foundational narrative of America. We're descendants of the Mayflower, the iconic vessel that carried pilgrims to the New World in 1620. These brave immigrants embarked on a treacherous journey, seeking religious freedom and a fresh start. As the leader of culture and DBNI at a national value-based healthcare company, I bring every facet to my identity to the table. Initiatives like starting parental leave aren't mere policy suggestions to me. They stem from my own experience as a mother, understanding the immeasurable value of those first bonding moments with a new life. My drive to create a work environment where everyone feels that they belong and every story is honored and where empathy isn't just a word but the core of our organizational culture. It's the culmination of so many parts of me. But my story is just one of many. Each of us carries a unique tapestry of experiences, lessons, and identities. And I encourage each and every one of you to reflect on your own journeys. Ask yourselves, what stories and experiences do you bring? How can you use your particular perspective to foster changes in your workplace, within your own family, your community, and the world? Our identities are our stories, and by celebrating them together, we can craft a brighter Miami.